Hello again traders, Rishi Patel here, co-founder of Master the Markets, the Elite Traders Conference and the Traders Open Day. And today we're talking about a topic which is trading as a sat-nav, which you may think is quite an unusual topic or an unusual way of phrasing trading. So what do we really mean by this? Well, we have to think about the concept of a satellite navigation device. So I don't know about you, but I'm definitely one of these people that as soon as I jump in the car, I have to key in electronically exactly where I'm going to. Um, otherwise, I'm not going to I'm going to get lost. So I need to know with clarity where I'm getting to. So this is important. And I'm so used to this uh, technology and the electronics already in the car. We can actually do that. You know, I remember as well back in the day when my mum also used to have uh, what was called an A to Z. Some of you might even remember this. Some of you might even still have one. And that gave you all of London basically in a book. And she would sometimes look through that to find out, you know, how she gets to certain places. And that was before sat-navs were even about. Even before that, um, myself and Tiru, we uh, do some service work with the elderly. And we had this amazing privilege of meeting this great guy who was a draftsman who actually made maps. My point is, is throughout time, maps have always existed. And there's two key things that really a sat nav or a paper map or Google Maps or whatever it is you look at that, that you need on. So you need to look at two main things when you're looking at a map. You need to look at the point of where you are right now. And then you need to look at the point of where do I want to be? So these two things are absolutely critical in order to map a route out. Now, why is that important? Why is it important to map a route out? Well, as I said at the beginning, if I get into a car, I need to know exactly where I'm going. If I don't map out the route in the beginning, then en route, I'm going to get lost or I'm going to be relying on signboards or asking people either the fuel in the car is going to run out or I'm going to take a long time to get where I want to be. I'm going to be late. I'm going to miss an important engagement. Um, so whatever it is, we need to know with clarity where we're going. And it's very important as well that you set that up before you start your journey. The other thing you definitely don't want to do is kind of find out midway that hmm, I'm not actually clear. And this is the big thing, clarity. Why do you need to be clear? Because your subconscious mind is working on this route even when you don't know it. Now, the subconscious mind is probably the most powerful tool that we have available at our disposal. The reason for that is because the conscious mind can only do so much during working hours when you focused and sometimes you lose focus on a task. But your subconscious mind is an incredible tool which works even when you're sleeping. And if you've given it the right set of calibration in the beginning, then it's going to work even harder for you than anything else that you have. So if you're clear on where you are, where you want to be all the time, then your subconscious mind will start working for you on a route of how to get there. And it will do that while you sleep, while you're awake, in real time, all the time. And that's what makes it incredible. So how can we use this and how do we actually then take this and apply this in trading? Well, there are a couple of things. So first of all, you need to have clarity on your goals. So that end point of the map, where do you actually want to be when you are done, when you have, when you would consider yourself to have reached or met your objectives from trading, where should you be? So that could include things like how many pounds per month am I generating as a net bottom line profit? Uh, how much money can I keep adding into my trading account? How much money do I want to withdraw? Um, how many trading accounts do I have? How many trading strategies am I trading? All of this information will add up towards getting clarity on your end goal. But your end goal has to come down to something related to actual money in your pocket. Because if you think about it, that's the goal of trading. Because at the end of the day, you want to be able to use those funds to do other things. So what is the end pound value amount? Pound value, what is it at the end on a monthly basis, on a bi-monthly basis, on an annual basis, however you want to set your goals. That's your end point of your map. Then if you've got your end point of your map, you need the starting point of the map. So now you need to get dead clear on the, the where you are now. So remember two points on a map, where you want to get to, where you are now. So if you know where you are now, the way you can track that is by looking at your strategy's results. You might want to review your strategy's win-loss ratio, your expectancy reliability. All of these numbers on a real-time spreadsheet you're going to track. And then you keep reviewing. Let's say at the end of a week, you do an overall review of all of the trades that you've taken in real time. And you ask yourself that question, 
have I actually hit my, my targets from the trades that I put on this week? Is this getting me towards the end point of that map? And if not, what can I do to adjust? Now remember, the genius thing about a sat nav or something like that is that even if you start driving and you find that there's a roadblock or something like that, you have to take a different route. The sat nav automatically adjusts so that it gets you a diversion and it pick, picks out a new route for you automatically. Your subconscious mind will do the same thing for you. It will keep adjusting for you, but you need to put in that conscious effort to keep reviewing. Where am I? and where do I want to be? Where am I and where do I want to be? If you keep asking these two questions, then you automatically find the route that you want to get to to achieve your trading goals. That's it from me for now. Until the next time, as we always say, stay disciplined, follow your plan, and trade like a master. Bye for now.